What used to take hours to do in traditional software for data analysis is now collapsed into a single text prompt. Large language models like OpenAI's ChatGPT, Anthropic's Claude, and Google's Gemini are fundamentally changing how we work and interact with data. It's a whole new way of doing and thinking about data analysis. Instead of spending hours cleaning messy datasets, wrestling with code, debugging visualization libraries, and manually performing statistical tests, you can now just tell the model exactly what you want and it will do the rest. As Andre Karpati, one of the founders of OpenAI says, the hottest new programming language today is English. Hey ChatGPT, can you create a bar chart that shows the happiest countries in the world? Can you make it more visually appealing by using the color scheme Spectro? Can you add the bottom and middle happiest countries to the graph and add lines to separate them from each other? It's like having a brilliant data scientist as your personal assistant, although you know how genius goes, one who is available 24-7, never gets overwhelmed and executes your analytical vision at the speed of thought. But don't take my word for it. Let's look at the evidence. Three years ago, researchers asked a simple question. Is ChatGPT a good data analyst? What they discovered was fascinating. Even the old version of ChatGPT, GPT-4, performed at the level of a junior data analyst on many tasks and it was dramatically more efficient roughly 13 times faster on individual tasks and about 140 times cheaper. The same task that took junior analysts 388 seconds to complete took GPT-4 only 34 seconds at roughly 5 cents compared to 7 dollars for the analyst. This breakthrough was so significant that researchers published a paper asking what should data science education do with large language models? Their takeaway was clear. Large language models are transforming the responsibilities of data scientists, shifting their focus from hands-on coding and data wrangling to assessing and managing analysis performed by automated AIs. But that was the old model, GPT-4. That was three years ago. Today's GPT agent represents a significant step forward. What is the ChatGPT agent? It is basically ChatGPT with a toolbox and a virtual computer of its own. It will intelligently navigate websites, run code, conduct analysis, and even give you back an editable spreadsheet with the results. This isn't pie in the sky. It's available right now, and it feels like working with an even more capable assistant. On DS Bench, which is a realistic benchmark with data science tasks spanning analysis and modeling, one that the old GPT-4 model failed, the GPT agent surpasses human baselines. In other words, we're witnessing the democratization of advanced data analysis. And no, AI is not going to make data scientists obsolete. A great example here is the lessons we've learned from radiology. Back in 2016, Geoffrey Hinton, largely considered the godfather of AI, declared, people should stop training radiologists now because AI was about to make them obsolete. Um, people should stop training radiologists now. It's just completely obvious that within five years, um, deep learning is going to do better than radiologists because it's going to be able to get a lot more experience. Um, it might be 10 years, but we've got plenty of radiologists already. Um, I said this at the hospital and it didn't go down too well, but there you go. Um, Fast forward to today, radiology residency programs are offering record positions, radiologists earn close to 50% more, and the field has never been busier. So what happened? Despite more than 700 FDA-cleared AI models that can diagnose diseases faster and more accurately than any human in a lab test, radiologists aren't disappearing. This is because most radiologists spend only 36% of their time interpreting scans. The rest is patient counseling, team communication, teaching, and oversight. In other words, the AI handles monotonous tasks, the humans handle the relationships, the liability, and the complex decisions. Of course, as AI becomes more capable, it will cause changes in the job market. A 2025 Lightcast study analyzing millions of jobs postings found that data scientists now lead all professions in demanding generative AI skills. The study estimated that engineers, developers, and data analysts are seeing 30% of their core skills being automated by AI right now. But it's also crucial to understand that large language models excel at well-defined, structured tasks, but they still struggle with complex reasoning chains and very long contexts. 
on specialized benchmarks like Spreadsheet Bench, which tests real-world Excel manipulations, even the best models achieve only 40-45% to accuracy on the hardest tasks. This is exactly why human judgment and expertise remain essential. However, don't forget that this is the worst AI will ever be, and the trajectory is unmistakable. So, whether you're among the data scientists, engineers, and analysts facing immediate AI disruption, or you're in the field just beginning to feel AI's impact, this course provides the practical introduction you need today. We will mostly work with ChatGPT, but the principles we'll cover will also apply to other platforms such as Google's Gemini or Microsoft's Copilot. We'll start with the fundamentals. What are large language models and how do they work? What are their capabilities and limitations? What are the different models available right now? What are reasoning models, different modes such as the agent mode, and how to best prompt them for best results? We'll cover how to import and clean your data, how to work with CVS files and Excel spreadsheets. Then we'll move into exploratory analysis and visualization. You'll learn how to create summary tables, explore variable distributions, and find correlations. And most importantly, how to build beautiful visualizations to tell your story in a more compelling way. We'll then focus on statistical modeling, from basic regressions and time series analysis to more advanced techniques such as structural equation modeling and event studies, and even causal techniques like propensity score matching. You understand not just how to use these powerful AI tools, but when to trust them, when to question them, and how to combine the AI efficiency with your human insight for results that neither could be achieved alone. Every lesson is built around real-world case study that shows practical applications you can use immediately. We will also spend some time discussing the fun, big questions. What does this all mean for us as data scientists and scholars? By the end of the course, I want you to feel excited about where data analysis is headed. Yes, the tools have evolved dramatically, but that doesn't replace us as analysts. If anything, it makes our expertise even more valuable. I truly believe that the future of data analysis is one where your creativity and judgment, human creativity and judgment, pairs up with AI speed, scale, and efficiency. It's about working with these tools, not against them or in fear of them. So if you're ready to augment your skills and work alongside one of the most powerful tools of our time, join me in ChatGPT for data analysis. Together, we will embrace this new technology and make sure you're not just keeping up, but staying ahead of the curve. The AI revolution in data analysis is already here. The question isn't whether this technology will transform your field. The question is whether you'll be ready to use it effectively and take advantage of it. Thank you.